Hey guys, how's it going today? Scott Overholt with SOS Kettlebell, back with another kettlebell workout for you today. Um, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do a single bell. We're gonna do more of a wrestling style workout today. First exercise, you're gonna use your kettlebell. We're gonna be holding our athletic or our uh, wrestling stance position. We're gonna be doing a figure eight pass around each leg. So when we're doing this, we wanna have our weight back on our hips and we wanna kinda of shift and pass and put all of the weight onto the passing leg. So you're giving your uh, opposite leg a little bit of a chance to rest here. So spine stays nice and straight here, meaning your shoulders are pulled back, your hips are extended back. We're pushing our knees out slightly on these. And we're gonna shift all that weight to that passing leg. Your arm stays pretty much straight and you're gonna turn your shoulders into the pass. So you're just kind of shifting and moving your body on each one. We're gonna go 20 seconds one way. When you hear switch, we're gonna go back the other direction and just make sure those toes stay pushed out, knees stay pushed out, and we don't want our shoulders and upper back to crumble. We wanna make sure our hips stay back and extended as well. <clears throat> From there, we'll go to a down position in wrestling. We're gonna do sit throughs. So it's really about getting your hips out and away underneath you, and then we get into this um, bridge position, thoracic bridge position, where we want to build stability in the shoulder, get a little bit of rotation. We go back, knees down, and we switch sides on these. So just make sure we're moving well with these, more of like an escape in wrestling, but get as much uh, mobility as you can as each exercise. The tempo is going to dictate the intensity and how fast you do this. And then we'll go to our uh, knee down position where we do knee extensions. We're just going to lean back in these. Um, the most important part is keeping those shoulder blades pulled back, glutes engaged the entire time. It's the most common people just kind of go back like this. You want to keep everything arched, keep your eyes up, make a fist, and go as far back as you can without losing that position. So it's going to be a nice intense uh, flex and stretch on the quads, your glutes stay engaged. So total leg exercise here, total whole trunk and core exercise. So go as far as you can, slightly uncomfortably, go back and then just make sure we can come up and out of it. Um, if you're pretty new to these, you might just wanna get used to having those knees down and just shifting your weight back and trying to open up some mobility in those knees. And then we'll grab our kettlebell, we'll do a tall kneeling press. So the bell's gonna start in its rack position like we always do. We want a nice 45 degree angle on the handle on the palm. The body's nice and tight. We press the bell up, rack it back. So when you're pressing some lines that you can take. You can be super linear, straight up and down with it, or we can kind of round it out a little bit, use a little more movement in our core and torso. Uh, it's really preference on these, but we're gonna do a knee down press on each side. Just make sure we're getting a full range of motion, good lockout, back to your rack position. From there, we'll go to slaloms, which is a good mobility exercise for the knees and the hips. So we want a nice wide knee base, the, the width of the knees needs to be the length of the heel to the knee because we're going to sweep this leg in. We're going to sit back and down with these. Um, I always take time and massage out my quad. I try to stay tall in these because I'm really limited in my hips and my knees and hip flexors with this. So I use a lot of hands. Um, this is not something that you want to feel too much fatigue from, but more you just want your joints and your knees and your hips and your back to all feel good while you're doing these. So we're sitting back and down. We're holding on to the knee and the foot, and we're trying to stay nice and tall in the hips and the shoulders with these. From there, we're coming to our feet. The bell's gonna be right in between your feet. We got our level change here. A Little bit of quad, a little bit of hamstring. Palms go to the ground, our feet are together. Our feet come nice and wide. Um, outside shoulders slightly, and then we're gonna stand up, clean and rack the bell. Get a good lockout. Bell goes back to the ground. Get enough for squat thrust. Clean with the opposite hand. So alternating clean and rack, out of your squat thrust with those. Pick the bell up for number seven, body pass palm stop. So we're switching hands behind the back, we're pausing it out front with the palm, switching hands behind the back. So when you're doing this, you want a fast enough speed that these elbows straighten out through our pass. So you want that bell lifting away from you a little bit. Um, you can make it a little more challenging by keep reducing your base and bring your feet close. A little more manageable, a little better base. We'll make these a little more uh, easy for you. But body pass, palm stop, make sure we're exhaling, putting tension into that, pat, uh, into that pause. Bottom is up, handles down. We're gonna take a step laterally, load up the hip, the glute, the quad, drive back to center. So we're gonna, getting into our lateral lunge here. 
The difference between a lateral lunge and a Cossack, we're still loading up that leg with the Cossack, we're focused more on flexibility. With the lateral lunge, we're just focused more on loading up and being more explosive on those three big leg muscles on each leg, quad, hamstring, glute, okay? So after that, we're gonna to go to our tall plank or push-up position. This is an anti-rotation exercise. So the ability to not move, twist, or turn is what we wanna work on with this. So bell is underneath you, hands are right under shoulders. You want a nice wide about shoulders with foot stance. You're pulling the bell underneath, flipping it over, switching hands on each one, okay? So we don't wanna lift, twist, turn, or uh, change the hips at all with those. So number nine is your pull through. After that, we're gonna to go to windmills where we'll get our bell in a good racked position. It'll always be right over the rear leg. Your front knee will always have a bend. So we wanna set our foot stance equally. Angle, uh, feet are angled at the same position. We hike our hip out. We press our bell down. And we can always use this front hand as a guide. But you visually wanna have a good, um, good spot on the bell, whether you're watching the mirror or whether you're just looking up at it. But get as much depth as you can. We always want to load up our hips. We always want to extend those hands, uh, hips back and stretch out those hamstrings on each one. And get a good lockout. So it's a hinge with a bit of rotation. So those are going to be our 10 exercises today. Let's get a good mobility warm up in and then we'll do uh, our follow along workout. All right, we always want to start mobility the same way, meaning we want to line our feet up underneath our hips. We want to elongate and stand as tall as we can with the best posture that we can. We always want to breathe with this, focus on breathing and tying your movement together. So we always start nice and tall. We look up and we look down and go to pace that is good and comfortable for you. But most importantly, go the full range of the motion with all these movements. Look side to side. Use your eyes and try to look over each shoulder. And job leg tilts. Forward glides. And head circles. Switch direction with your head circle. Shoulder rolls, both the same time, both the same direction. And switch. And switch and alternate. Switch, keep alternating. Thoracic lifts. Thoracic glide. Arm swing. Alternating cross. Palms are on the ceiling. Nice reach and stretch for the hands and wrists. And we're going to shoulder screws. Make sure you're visiting that stretch after each one. Spinal twisting. Whoa. 
lateral bends. Pelvic swings, make sure your feet are lined up directly under your hips. Hip hikes. And hip circles. Switch direction. Forward hinge, backward bend. squat with a hip pry. Cossacks. Hip flexor stretch. Hamstring front leg. Switch side, another hip flexor. Hamstring front leg. Watch stretch. All right, first exercise is a figure eight each, uh, each direction for 20 seconds. Figure eight pass, ready, and begin. Switch direction. Time. Right, next up into the down position for sit throughs. Ready, set, begin. Next up, we got knee extensions. So toes can be dug in, shoelaces can be down. I prefer shoelaces down. All right, let's practice these. Ready, begin.
10 times. Next, we got a uh, tall kneeling press. So both knees are down, 30 seconds each side. Make sure you get a full range of motion with your press. Ready? And bigger. Time on your side. Ready, go. In time. All right, we're gonna widen out our knee base for slaloms. Ready and begin. Right, next up, we've got a uh, squat thrust with an alternating clean rack. Level change, ready, and big. Next up, body pass, palm stop. Switch hands behind the back, freeze it and stop it with the palm out front. Ready, and big. And time on the crush grip, alternating lateral lunge. Ready and go. Uh, next into the tall plank or push-up position for uh, your pull-throughs here. And we're anti-rotation, so we don't want to move our body during the pull. Ready? And begin.
finish the rounds with a windmill. Ready, clean it, rack it, set your foot base, hike your hip, press your bell, and dig in. Switch sides. Rack your bell. Set your feet. Hike your hip. Press your bell. Dig in.